close this. Go open this. Come on, go fast. Glow, glow, glow. Oh, that's not what I wanted to know. I just want to know. There we go. All right. So they updated the stuff. Air global. They have they've actually updated everything to actually let everybody know everything going on. So I'm just gonna kind of just go over and cover this real quick. So for the this is just global since they've already done all the other ones. So we get Dan, uh, Diancy if you buy the ticket. Mega Diancy, yeah, we already know this. Which they which they were at all three other GoFests, and now we're going to get it for Global. Uh, Alright, so this is for Saturday. So the Saturday... Uh, yeah, okay, so this is Saturday Habitats, which we got four. We got Quartz, ter Quartz Terrarium, Pyrite Sands, Malachite Wilderness. Oh, I probably butchered that, but... And then Aquarium Shores. So the spawns we get for the Quartz Terrarium is Pikachu with with a crown. And we get Clefairy, Lick the Tongue, Heracross, Miltank, Wurmple, Wismer, Skitty, Love Disc, EC Shellos. Baneri, Audino, Fungus, and Morlol. So we got some majority of everything except for Morlol will be shiny, so that's not too bad. And you know, obviously, if you see the little stars, which this is the new shiny. He sees Shellus is the new shiny for this. Heracross would be a good one for everybody to grab a hold of. Um, don't really know if there's really. I mean, you could always grind Audinos for whenever we get Mega Audino in the future. Baneer is a good one to grind because it already has its mega. So if you need a good uh, low bunny and all that, that's a good one to grind. Lickitung as well because Lickitung is good in PvP. Miltank is to Miltank is more of a spice pick in PvP. But Mil so like these three would be good. Baneer would be good. EC Shellos because it's new. If you want to get your like collector's medal and all that, you can get the Pikachu's. So that's, that's this. I mean, it's not really all that great of a. First, which this will be from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. on Saturday, and then 2 to 3 p.m. also. So th this is going to be the habitat that starts and then repeats itself at the beginning. Pyrite Sands, which this is going to be from 11 to 12. Yeah, 11 to 12, 12 to 1, and then 1 to 2 for this one, and then it'll re, it'll redo. So this one, we got Pikachu with a crown again, which is a different type of crown for some reason. Uh, we got Sandtrue, Alolans, Diglett, Psyduck, Giraffric, Chuckle, Trap Inch, Gibble, Hippowdus, Timber, Joltik, Binnacle, Helieptile, and Grubble, Grubbin, with Grubbin being the only one that's not shiny. Uh, again, again, you can try to get this for you if you're a collector of the Pikachus. Sandshrew, Diglett, Gibble, Timber, and Joltik. All of those are going to be good ones for you to really grind out and get. Uh, Timber really, Timber, and Gibble was really raids. Diglett, Sandshrew, and Joltik are more PvP focused. So those are some good ones you can really try to grind out. Oh yeah, under, okay, under here it tells you. So yeah. So Pyrite Sands will be 11 to 12 and then 3 to 4. So the, so it's it's from 10 to 6 both days, I'm going to guess. Yeah, it's going to be 10 to 6 both days. You know, so you have, like, you have some... Uh, Gold Duck actually isn't a bad spice pick for certain PvP leagues if you want to grab so you, a good PvP one. So now this one, we've got Caterpie. And then Pik yet again, Pikachu with another crown. Bellsprout, Scyther, uh, Snorlax wearing a cowboy hat, Spinarak, Remoraid, Roselia, Snover, Cottony, Ferris Seed, Stunfist, Fomantis, and Oranguru. New shiny being Oranguru. Which I forgot to say that Joltik was the new shiny for Pyrite Sands. Uh, yet again, the Pikachu, if you want to grind it. 
uh, Scyther, Spinneract, Roselia, Snover, Pharaoh Seed, Cottony, Stunfisk. Those are all really good. For, uh, Stunfisk, uh, Spinneract, Pharaoh Seed. I don't know if I said Cottony. Those are all good PvP ones, while Ros Roselia and Rosa Raid, they're okay in PvP. What up, what up? Uh, but Rosa Raid, whatever is more, is, is a pretty good uh, budget grass type if you need it. Uh, and then Snover, whatever, if you can get it up to... Uh... Obama Snow, it has a Mega, so that could at least help you try to get a good Mega. Cottony, with its second evolution, I'm not quite sure. Uh, it's a good PvP pick. I'm using PG Sharp. Is there a way to speedrun Platinum Edges? I don't know. I don't I don't spoof there, my guy. Uh, Snorlax is a good PvP, and then Scyther as well. Is uh if you can get Scizor, that's not a bad uh, PVP pick if you can get it, and it also has a Mega. And then Snorlax is a good PVP pick, so if you get a good Snorlax, you can run it for PVP. Or if you get a Hundo of it, it's not too bad in the Master League. So, all right, now we're going to the Aqua Aqua Marine Shores, which is going to be the last hour for both. Uh, for like both have or uh, whatever you want to call this. So we got Pikachu, Horsey, Lapras, Meryl, Wobbuffet, Carvana, Barboach, Bagon, Beldum, West Sea Shellos, Woobat, Timpole, Gumi, and uh, Marini. Which you, we're getting two new shinies in this one. We're getting West Sea Shellos and Gumi. So those are both new shinies. Uh, Bagon, Beldum are both good for raids and stuff, and Bagon has its Mega out, so you could always do that. And then Beldum will get one, so if you haven't got enough Beldum stuff, you can try to grind up a good Metagross. Uh, let's see, so Lapras is good for PvP. Meryl will be good if you get enough Meryl, you can have your Azumarill candies and stuff. Carvana, if you get Sharpedo, that's not a bad spice pick, and... For uh, some of the special cups. Barboach too. If you get enough Barboach. You can make it be a. Uh, a PvP and raid. Uh, budget counter. For. Uh, it evolves into what. Wishcash I believe. Yeah. Which Wishcash is the budget. Uh, Swampert. And we also got the Pikachu wearing the crown. You know if you're doing the collection. Of the Pikachus. Horsey, I don't, like, Kingdra's not bad, not Kingdra, Seedra's not too bad in PvP, but it's more specific, uh, like, cups or whatever. Marini and Toxpex, so that's actually a good one for PvP, so you get you a good amount of these. Uh, for Gumi or whatever, it's gonna be more, I think it's gonna be more raid-focused, so Gumi would be a more raid-focused type of Mon for you to have. But that's not too bad. For the raids on Saturday, it's just going to be all the Pikachus. So, like, if you don't want to find them in the wild, you have all four of them to be able to hunt and the Gumi. Now, two stars going to be Carbink. Now, I'm not fully sure if this is how you get the Mega Dancy candy or not. But if so, you might have to grind you some two stars to get the Mega Energy for Dancy, and then... Is it just going to be Snorlax? Because if it's just Snorlax, that's not that's not a bad three-star to raid. But if not... Alright, but yeah, but if it's not the only thing in there, I'm not really quite sure what else they would put in there for three stars, and then the Primals are back. And, you know, you get the ticket. Now we're going into Sunday. Which, Sunday is going to be all about Layer Quaza. Which we already know. Uh, so, alright, so th this is going to be an important part for everyone. 
the uh, whether you buy a ticket or you do not buy a ticket, you will be given a meteorite, so you can at least get at least one mega Rayquaza. If you buy a ticket, from what they said, we're supposed to be getting more than just one meteorite, but I guess we'll just have to see like how that goes. Here's all the Pikachus with the different crowns. So, oop, I didn't want to go up. Come on now. Um, so then, yeah, so the raids are the same. You still got your Pikachus and Gumi. Still got your Carbank. Still got your Snorlax. Mega raids. So it'll just be Mega Rayquaza and then the Primals, but they're only going to be here for an hour, it says. So Saturday, they're I think they're going to just be running all day, and then for Sunday, I'm, it's looking like just an hour for the primal. So if you don't already have all the primal energy you need, you can always uh, try to grind more of those. Alright, so now these are the bonuses for tickets. I'm pretty sure. I don't know. It's just ticket or not. Okay, so this is for everyone, no matter whether you buy a ticket or not. We're gonna have an hour lore module. You're going to be able to get two times friendship bonus. Uh, trainers will be able to enjoy... F oh yeah, so field research as usual. Th which this part right here is pretty dope. There will be no remote raid limit. So you'll be able to remote raid as much as you want. For both days? Yeah, okay, both days. So if you really want to try to like grind out some raids and not have a limit, yeah, you have the possibility. I mean, unless the prices go down, I don't really see too many people taking too much advantage of this. And then snapshots, which probably just be with Pikachu and which I mean, unless they change it up. Uh, all right, these are important attacks for everybody to get, and it this this isn't locked to nothing. This isn't like made to where no, not not just anybody can get it. So if you evolve Butterfree, it'll get the fast attack Bug Bite, which I'm not quite sure if Bug Bite's good on Butterfree or not. You'll have to let me know at some point. Now this one is a good one, Sand Slash with Night Slash. This is a good charge attack for Sand Slash if you're using it in PvP. Clefable getting fast attack Pound. I don't know if that really changes too much for Clefable. Yet again, you guys have to let me know about that one. Flygon is going to get Earth Power, which these are all Calm Day moves, except for Clefable. I don't rem or and Butterfree. I don't remember them getting a Calm Day. Uh, but this is going to be a Calm Day move for Flygon. Uh, Earth Power, another Calm Day's Outrage, Meteor Mash on Metagross, which these are all Calm Day moves, which y'all can get as long as you evolve between or on the 26th and 27th. Uh, then Rose Raid getting... It, this is going to get two attacks. It's going to get Bullet Seed and the Fire-type charge, uh, Weather Ball. And then Licky Licky getting Body Slam. I'm not sure if Licky Licky is really good enough. Or not really good enough, but I don't know if Lickitung is better to use over Licky Licky. You'll have to let me know about that one. Uh, Field Research... From ten to six, so yeah, we'll get we'll get new field research on those days, okay. And then also raid battles. We get some avatar items. You gotta be kidding me with this. We get some new avatar items. We get a GoFest T. Wait, you can pick up the following avatar items. Oh, we've already been able to have this. So and along with this, so none of this stuff really matters. This ain't nothing new. Fan stickers. Alright, now this is ticket exclusive. So if you would like, you know, you don't have to watch any more of this video. Because this is going to be for the ticket part. But if you do, you know, if you still want to, like, know what's still going on and you haven't decided if you're buying the ticket, this is what's going to happen for the ticket holders. So if you buy the ticket, you're instantly guaranteed that you're going to have an, uh, a Mega Diancy and, yeah, okay, so here's the part that I was talking about for the Meteorites. So we're going to get two different researches. One's going to give us Mega, or Diancy, as you see here. And then this, on Sunday, we're going to get 
another special research that's going to give us like I don't know how many extra meteorites, but it's going to give us some more meteorites. So that's not too bad. Uh, oh, here's a mega a double dance debut. That's right. Uh, we'll make its world debut during the Global Go Fest. Yeah. Um, exclusive Saturday special research story and learn more about the hidden power of this dazzling debut. Plus, collect mega dance energy by completing car bank grades. Okay, so we have, we have to do car bank grades to get the Mega Dianti energy, I'm guessing. And of course, we always have our global challenge things for everyone. Uh, oh, so the incense counters. Uh, and th this, now remember, this is ex uh, ticket exclusive only. So we get Hasuian Growlithe, unknown, A-D-I-M-N-O. And now, uh, for each one of these, the unknowns are going to be the same. The only thing that's going to change is going to be this. So I'm not going to repeat the unknowns and all that. But the Pyrite Sands will get Pawnyard, which is, is this will be kind of nice because of the fact that it's leg locked and all that right now. Uh, the Malach, the Malachite, however the fuck you say this, is going to be Carvine, Carnivine. So that's not too bad. Anybody that doesn't have Carnivine, that's because it's locked to Florida and all that, you'll be able to get your chance to. And then for the Aquamarine shores, it's going to be Pachirisu, which anybody that ain't able to travel like uh, to can like northern Canada, Alaska, Russia areas, you'll be able to get this now. Be able to get your decks more completed. So th this is also with the ticket. So we're going to have increased shiny odds. We're going to be able to make six special trades a day, both days. So you'll be able to have 12 a day, or 12 for both days. Um, we'll get more of the Elite Collector Metal stuff like we always do. We get nine free remote raid, or not remote. We get nine free raid passes when we spin gems. And then we're also going to get special 7k eggs. So that's not too bad. Um, I'm pretty, isn't this already in the in the game? Maybe not. We might be getting a Dancy shirt, which I don't really. I mean, it, it's got Dancy on it. You can't really do much else with it. We'll get some more stickers, and then yeah, it's obviously for it's obviously fourteen ninety nine here. But so get your ticket early. Which yeah, if if which if everybody has bought their ticket already, you you should have already gotten like a good portion of a. Uh, Random researches that gave you stuff, and then you know here's just it just shows you how to like buy the ticket. But yeah, so it doesn't really seem like they really updated too much of anything. We at least know the bonuses now, which I don't know if we knew the bonuses previous to this. I mean, we already knew what all the raids were gonna be. I just don't know if there's gonna be anything else other than Snorlax and Carbink in these two and three star raids. But other than that, it doesn't look too bad. You don't have to let me know down in the comments and all that what you all think of the Global Go Fest stuff and all that. Or even over here on Twitch while I'm live. But yeah, like it don't it's it it, it don't look too crazy. You know, because we're not really getting too much new shit. We're getting East Sea, East Sea Shellos. And then we're going to get Joltik as a new shiny, and then we get Orangaroo, and then we get Gumi and West Sea Shell. So that's what? Gumi, West, and East, and then Orangaroo. We get like five shinies for GoFest. So that's not really all too much really new, because everything else has been shiny other than like those five that we that I've just went over. But yeah, uh, not really much else to really say about all this, so I will catch you all next time, and feel free to come and say hello to me either on my lives, which I, will, I won't I will be uh, in Phoenix whenever I go to do Global Go Fest. I'm going to be traveling for this, so... 
If I see you out there, I see you out there. If not, hopefully you have a good GoFest, or a good global GoFest. And I will catch you all later. Hopefully you all have a good...